Hey everyone, Courant here, welcoming you back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last episode, we made our way through the rest of the Dark Rift, and then ended up in the area of Yafutoma, where, well, we were attacked. <laughs> and now, the Yafutoman flagship has apparently decided to come swooping in on us, so it's time to go check out and see what's going on. Now, I figure what I'm going to need to do is probably head out to the deck. I don't know if it's going to need to be the main deck or if we need to go to the crow's nest, but I don't know. I figure probably we'll try main deck first since that's likely the best place to actually go out and see people. Ah, uh, that's the library slash bar, I think. Talk about a weird mix of stuff. Uh, let's see. I think this is out to the main deck, if I'm not mistaken. Westerners, we have been waiting for you. Eh? Oh, hi guys. Who are you? My name is Zhao. My name is Mao. Hopefully not THE Mao, because that would be terrible. It is our mission. To collect a thousand swords. And you guys are going to fight us, right? So you must pick one of two choices. Surrender and give up your weapons. Or die and we take your weapons. It is up to you to decide your fate. I'm not surrendering. How about we kick your butts and toss you overboard? <laughs> there you go, Vice. Besides, you guys are unarmed. What can you possibly do to us? Uh, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, I rest my case. If that is your decision, then we must kill you now. Yeah, it's boss time! Yay! Just when we got done with an airship battle, we get to fight some folks, just normally, I guess. Okay, well... <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely. Alright, so I'm going to spend the first turn basically buffing up and such. Because I want to. And because I also want to get some SP up so that Fina can get her restoration going. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and have... Yeah, let's have you do Glyph of Speed. Fina, you need to focus. And Enrique, you need to Glyph of Might yourself, please, sir. Let's try this. I'll also need to keep in mind the new ability I just got for Enrique. Ernigan? What? Uh, well, we didn't get that. But uh, I'll need to keep in mind the new ability with Enrique to go into defensive mode from time to time. Hi. That's not good. Tatati Moruto. Okay. Man, them are some interesting, att interesting sounding attacks anyway. I doubt I'll be able to pronounce them correctly, but hey, whatever. Also, apparently they like to do high kicks and other such stuff just while they're running around the stage. Just nice to know, I suppose. This should work. Okay, so let's see. Next turn, I want to go ahead and go on the attack with my regular, uh, I guess just regular, let's see. Uh, when Fina uses her ability, we're going to have 8 SP left, so that actually would give me room for Cutlass Fury. But before I do that, what colors are you guys? You are both blue. Okay, alright, so I need to switch over to... Um, let's switch over... Well, actually, we're already in purple, so we might as well stay there. Okay, so, go ahead and Cutlass Fury... Let's Cutlass Fury Jow, I guess. And then... Let's see, Ika, you need to heal. Let's see... Where are my Sacrum... There we go, there's my Sacrum Crystals. And then, Fina, let's go ahead and get you doing the Lunar Blessing, because I want that region in place, like, ASAP. Alright, and Enrique, you're just going to go ahead and do a normal attack, I suppose. There we go. Regen, in effect. And granted, they're hitting for about 1,200, so having 200 per turn come back is not the greatest in the world, but at the very least, it'll help out a good bit. Let's try this. And also, it looks like probably the best move is going to be to 
Well, I don't know, honestly. I'm sitting here thinking, well, the best move's gonna be to take down one of the princes, but then again, maybe not, because if I end up doing that, okay, that's fine. You just go ahead and attack. I will just sit here and slash at you. Okay, Ernagun again on Fina, so yeah, it's gonna be another healing turn. Well, semi-healing turn at least. But I need to keep in mind Enrique's ability if push comes to shove, I guess. Okay, so, let's see. Given the one of the Black Pirate battles, I'm sitting here thinking I'm going, well, maybe I shouldn't kill one of them immediately, uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do so, just because I want to limit the numbers here. Okay, then, let's see. That should be able to take enough to take out Jow, so we'll go after Mal next. Then, my lady, you can heal yourself. I think Sacrest Crystal should do the trick. And then, we're not going to have enough points to do anything with Enrique, really. I think next turn, though, I probably need to put up Justice Shield. Just because... Well, we need it. Or we're going to need it at that point. Because I want to protect against the notion that Mal's going to go Super Saiyan after his brother falls. I'm, I'm assuming them to be brothers, anyway. So, I want to definitely be able to mitigate that if necessary. Let's try this! Okay, so their official HP is under half, so it gets into happy time. But we're really going to be in happy time after he perishes, so... Yeah, there we go. Tatiamoruto! Or Tatatimo... Yeah, that. Tatatimoruto! That's it. Okay, and you're not going Super Saiyan yet, but... I'm still going to have enough SP to do Cutlass Fury and get that up, so I might as well. Uh, let's see, Fina, you can... Yeah, focus, I guess. And then, go ahead and do Justice Shield. Just because we haven't seen it before, I don't think. Okay. Well, it's got a bit of flash to it, not too much, but still. It'll definitely help. And, never mind, it won't help because the battle's over. Okay. We did it! That was a little easier than I expected, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'll take a, an easy victory, I suppose. And, wow, we've almost got another purple spell. Cool. And a Moonberry, which is also nice. Westerners, you are stronger than we thought. We must report this to our commander. Well, bye. Hopefully your ship was down there. Yeah, that's what I figured. We rule the skies of Yafutoma. And we are known as Tenku. Or, yeah, you guys said it's a long O, so Tinko, I guess? Westerners. We shall meet again. Alright. Have a nice trip. Although you're already pretty much there anyway. Wow, how can they fly so high? Blue moonstones hold the powers of wind and water. The Yafatoman ships are powered by these stones. By harnessing the power of the wind, their ships can reach altitudes that we can only imagine. Well, looks like we chased them off for now. We should try and find Yafatoma. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, so, let's see, where does this put us map-wise? We are pretty much where we left off. Okay. I, I do want to explore a little bit more of this area before we get to Yafutoma proper, I guess. Uh, because I figure Yafutoma is probably north of where I was, I'm expecting. But I want to look around a little more, because I was sort of in the process of looking around, and then I got interrupted, so... I want to see about finding something. Uh, you guys mentioned that around this area there's an invisible discovery. I may be able to find it. I don't know, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I want to check just in case. Let's see. Okay. All right. So, all right. Yeah. Sorry. Just orienting myself a little bit here. 
And it doesn't look like I'm finding it around here, so maybe I need to go back beyond the the uh, wall? Or the, I guess, the white wall? Hmm. I don't know. If I don't find it in a little bit, I'm just not really going to worry about it. I just want to scout the white wall a bit and see if I can locate it. If not, no biggie. Especially since Enrique's not competing. Or not Enrique. Uh, good lord. I for... Dang! Man, my names. Anyway, uh, since we're not competing for discoveries anymore... Domingo. That's his freaking name. <laughs> anyway... Uh, since we don't have to compete with him for discoveries anymore, I'm not as, I guess, obsessive, so to speak, with finding them. But, I mean, it'd be nice to find them anyway. I just want to get a lookout for them when I can. Uh, let's see. Okay. Alright. So, I guess we can charge along the side here, see what we can find. Hi, Blue Moon! Oh, uh, yeah, you guys mentioned it's Blue Moon and not Purple. And the, the cutscene, of course, helped make that clear, too, so... Uh, I got A-rank fishies? I got A-rank fishies, okay. Can I get S-rank fishies? And y'all stick around. Interesting. So I can collect lots of A-rank fishies? Oh, never mind, you flew away. You're not flying away. Well, you're kind of flying away. Okay, this could probably... No, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm good on that, or at least in terms of... Just trying to get them anyway. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, wait. Why am I... No, I don't need to go south again. Silly. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's what I get for not looking at the compass, I guess. Okay, so let's get back on track, shall we? Actually cover this map here. I gotta admit, there's a pretty good bit of ocean gulf here in between all these different points. Okay, this is sliding a bit more toward Purple Moon territory, so is that... Well, no. I figure that's probably somewhere to the north. It'd have to be, I guess. Okay, doesn't really look like there's anything around here, so... Let's go ahead and head north. See if we can make our way toward Yafatoma proper. And maybe find some discoveries along the way. Okay, so, let's see kind of look around as I'm flying here, just to make sure I don't miss anything in regards to, especially some of those flying discoveries that can uh, really get away from a person, literally and figuratively, I guess. And I like the extra little twang in the music now that we're clearly getting close to. You have found the Yafutoma! It sounds like almost I'm finding a ship or something. Ancient legends speak of Yafutoma as a mythical land to the east, covered in gold and populated by a proud, polite people. Cut off from the world by dangerous currents, it has developed a distinctive culture, first discovered by Vice, the Blue Rogue. Well, hey, it even says it as part of the discovery. I found you! Now, my question is, though, in regards to that, if they're cut off from the rest of the world by dangerous currents, how did they get there in the first place? I mean, maybe I'll find out, but still, I'm like, wait a minute, huh? Okay, so is it? Oh, I mean, I guess that is Yafutoma proper, isn't it? But it would appear I can't fly over the walls to get to it, so we gotta find a way around, I guess. Okay, let's see. So how, pray tell... Oh, there we go. This is how we get in. Hmm. I wonder... There are discoveries that I can find. I can't go there. Okay. I wonder if there are discoveries I can find around the walls. I don't know. I might have to scout for that a little bit later, but it looks like we are at Yafutoma proper. So let me just peek over something that looks suspiciously like Mount Fuji. Maybe we can discover Mount Fuji? <laughs> Although. I question how you could discover that, given that it's standing right there, so tall and everything, but still. Okay, I don't think we're going to really be able to do anything with Mount Fuji here. Uh, okay, no, we're not. Alright. So in that case then, let's just head back down and reorient ourselves here. Oh, here we are. Okay. And I guess we should go ahead and make our way into Yafutoma itself.
The water is so clear. It's beautiful. I wonder where we are. Huh? Hey, how's it going, guys? Wow, that ship. It's so huge! Are those Westerners? They dress funny. Hey, look! Their hair isn't black. I wonder what they eat to make their hair that color. <laughs> My hair is really going to stand out over here. Invaders, why have you come to Yafotoma? You must be a guy in charge. Probably not the guy in charge, but a guy. These lands are protected by Mount Kazai and the Blue Moon. Under the sovereign reign of Lord Mikado, invaders will be punished. Ooh. Yafutoma? Is this really Yafutoma? Yes, you have invaded Yafutoman lands. We did it! We did it! We're in Yafutoma! Enjoy the jumping for a second. Yeah! Well done, Vice. This will be recorded in the history books. How dare you invade our lands! I shall strike you down where you stand. Wait! Don't attack them. Oh, we've got another soldier, I guess. Visitors, our primary responsibility is to defend Yafatoma. Please forgive our rush to arms. Lord Mikado has said that he would like to speak with you. Please, if you would come with me. Lord Mikado? I suppose that he's probably the king of these lands. We should follow him. Sure. Hopefully it'll give us a chance to do a little exploration while we're at it. Oh, never mind. We just go straight to him. So, you came from the land where the sun sets. Welcome to Yafutoma. My daughter, Moegi, has always been intrigued with the West. Haven't you, my dear? Yes, father. Please, I would love to hear all about your homeland. And if there's anything we can do for you, just ask. <laughs> sure, but I don't want to be too much of a burden. King Mikado, as an advisor to the royal court, I must say that I am opposed to the idea of foreigners entering our lands. Oh. Oh, oh, hi, you look villainy. Foreigners have only brought us disaster. We must cleanse them from our lands immediately. I agree with my father. The Westerners can only bring us trouble. We should dispose of them at once. They are our guests. We must welcome them. They can teach us a great deal about the West, and there is much that we can teach them as well. But I would like to know why you have traveled to Yafotoma. We're searching for the moon crystals to prevent our enemies from using them to destroy the world. The blue crystal? Hmm. I think you are referring to the jewel that has the powers of the blue moon. The object that you are searching for lies underneath Mount Kazai. Here in Yafutoma, we refer to the object as the Maga Spear. Mount Kazai is considered by our people to be a holy mountain, and deep within that mountain lies an azure-covered jewel. Our ancestors passed the jewel to the successors of the throne. After the cataclysm, the jewel was sealed inside Mount Kazai. An azure-colored jewel? Vice, that has to be the moon crystal! At one time, Mount Kazai was a volcano, and there is no known way inside. The Maga Sphere has been lost since the days of the Old World. If you were to retrieve it for us, we would be eternally grateful. So the Maga Sphere is at the bottom of that huge mountain? Leave it to us! Don't worry, we'll get it back for you. How are we supposed to get in there? Just FYI. Or just a question. Okay, well, that pretty much wraps that up. Uh, let's see, I guess... Let me see if I can roll around here, because I noticed there's another little spot to check, and I want to check everything, just for the purpose of curiosity, and moon berries, and not moon berries, moon fish, and charms, and you know, all that good stuff. I guess this is the, the Emperor's private quarters, I suppose? Well, they're not so private if we can just walk right in. Hi, save point. I will make use of you later. 
Uh, let's see. Anything? Well, it's I can't change the camera, so it doesn't really look like there's much of anything to do here except save point. Okay, well, good to know, at least. Alright, so with that, I guess we can just go ahead and roll around and explore the rest of the place, because I do want to do some exploration before we finish out. Because we're in a new town. I mean, why not? It is, I mean, obviously the archetype of this place is very Eastern, and it's pretty much thought of as, well, I mean, I suppose this is supposed to be China, or kind of Chinese, I suppose. I don't know, I mean, you can sort of, to some degree, let's see, let's see, please make your way to the ship parts dealer. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, so he'll take us there, all right. So, I mean, as far as the archetype and such, you could either go... Let's see. I mean, you could either go kind of Mulan, China type look, or you could look at it almost to some degree with a little bit of blend of Shinto Japan, which, given that those cultures are fairly similar anyway, because there was a lot of cross influence, I don't know. I kind of, I guess it's up to you as far as which of those you choose, really, in terms of. Okay, interesting sound effect. In terms of your artistic influence, I suppose. All right, so now we are in the city itself, and we have Kokita. Kuk, kuk, kuk. Okay. Oh gosh, what's with this bird? It's kind of cute. This bird, it's kind of cute, don't you think? Kind of cute, kind of cute. My goodness, it's mimicking you. Don't you go teaching it any naughty words now, Vice. Kind of cute, kind of cute. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure if my decision would actually have any relevance on anything, but you know what, why not? Okay, so, let's see. I guess we've got, what is this? Well, a building of some sort. I can't quite tell what it is right offhand. Maybe it's the local tavern, I suppose? So it looks like it's got some shish kebabs. Okay, hi, yep, I'm a Westerner. And you're bald. Okay, you want to become a an entrepreneur, I guess. Huh, alright, interesting. Okay, so how do we get into... Do we get... Well, I guess we can't get in there at all, can we? Huh, interesting, alright. Never mind then. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere obvious that I need to go... I mean, he mentioned the ship parts place by the waterfront. Hey, fairy man. You can get on or... Ah, here we go. Okay. So, let's see. I wonder where we can go. Oh my gosh, we can travel ourselves. <laughs> nice. All right, well, I'm heading over to the bar first, or pub, or whatever this thing is. Because, I mean, it's the first place I saw, so might as well check it out. Maybe we can get ourselves some tasty food while we're here. So we get to, wow. Uh, can I go in? Can I go in? There we go, okay. I don't know why it wasn't opening the door for me before. Hello. Uh, hello? Yurala. Ah, are you gonna be a crew member, potentially? Oh, looks like they have waitresses in Yafatoma, too. Waitre, I I'm sorry, we don't have anything like that on hand. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ah, I miss, you misunderstood. We were talking about you. Huh? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought it was what you wanted to order. Don't mention it. We're the ones who should apologize. We're in a bit of a rush right now, but we'll come back some other time, okay? Uh, all right. Thank you for coming in. The next time you come, be sure to try our scrumptious dumplings as well as our piping hot sweet, sweet bean soup. Sweet bean. Sweet bean. I don't know why I almost said sweet bean. Okay. Excellent cook and seems very domestic, but very reserved. Okay. Her older is the assertive type and a very skilled builder. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, let's talk to Madame Sir. Hi, you're not a sister, are you? We serve the best tea and dumplings here, and thanks to Yurala. Yay! Wait, what? Hey. I think we can taste the difference. Just, just try us. Okay, uh, well, yeah, like I said, basically pub, so let's see, where else can we go around here? Hmm. Uh, 
I suppose. Bunk. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think we can really go there, but we can go here anyway and dock over at this side of things. To what purpose, though, I wonder? That would be the purpose. Um, hey! Hi there, Chom! How's it going? And we've got... What are y'all doing? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to practice sailing! Prince Daigo? Oh, okay, so a prince is missing somewhere, I guess? You're never going to be able to help search for Prince Daigo! Okay. Alright, so apparently the Yafatoman prince is missing somewhere. Let me guess, we're going to go end up having to find him, or trying to find him at least. Alright, so this looks like this is the armory. This looks like this is the ship parts store, I guess. Okay, hello. How's it going? Ah, uh, talk about this and that. <laughs> Tenko is the name of a gang of outlaws. They go around seizing weapons, spouting something about how bare hands are more powerful. You say you ran into a Tenko? You're lucky you got away without losing your weapons or your life. That wasn't too bad, actually. Let's see what we have weapons-wise, speaking of. Uh, we have a weapon that's a little bit better for Vice, one that's much better, or a fair bit better for Ika, and one that's a good bit better for Enrique. Its mysterious powers can put enemies to sleep. Ooh, even better. Yeah, I will definitely take that for Enrique. Please put that on, sir. And another thing I'll mention also is, you note that the weapons are silver. Uh, you guys had recommended that I should probably be training silver weapons soon, so I figured it would be a good opportunity to do so with some of the battles that I had off camera. Okay. So this is... Alright, so that's better for both of them. Let's see. Jade Swirl Ring increases magic defense and will a lot. Wow, we. Uh, it doesn't really help Fina's magic, but it helps her will, so that's worth thinking about. Let's see, an enchantment that enables a warrior to attack faster and avoid enemies. Okay, so that increases dodge and quick, so... Okay. Um, I mean, let's see. I guess I could get... Let's see. Okay, so... Hmm... Let's see. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to see what this would do. Okay, so it increases magic to to 130, and okay, so yeah, it'll increase his stats effectively to right even to 136. Ultimately, if I do that, again, not the worst idea in the world. Ultimately, I definitely want to buy that for Ika at least because it looks like it's going to increase her defense a lot, and yeah, it will. So definitely do that. Okay, so. Let's see, the long robe, eh, eh, I'm not too enthused about the rest of this stuff. Okay, so, let's see, uh, is, wait, is there another way to get out of this place? Because there looked like there were two entrances or two doors or something like that. Uh, okay, it looks like, though, I'm gonna have to go back around, actually, to get to, because what I want to do is I want to go see the other side of this before I go into the ship part store. Because it looks like the ship parts store is kind of the, I wouldn't really say terminus exactly, because I figure we'll probably be coming back here. But the ship parts store looks to be where we need to go to further things. I mean, because they themselves said, hey, go talk to the ship parts guy in order to, hi treasure chest, in order to uh, be able to head over to the mountain. So, and I keep wanting to call it Mount Fuji, even though it's not Mount Fuji. So I'm gonna go there last, ultimately. And actually, it looks like there is a door to get in there. Okay. And there's also downstairs. There's more to this place? There's more to this place. Okay. Well, glad I explored them. Well, we haven't found our moonfish. Speaking of fishing. I got one! I got one! For fish that taste as good as sashimi, you have to go into the water. Okay. Ooh, that sounds good, actually. I like sushi a lot. I know sashimi's a bit different from sushi, but it's still a similar stock. And this is our ship parts store, so we're actually going here last. Never mind. In that case, then, I was mistaken in what I was looking at. Okay. Alright, so this obviously is the harbor. I don't know, maybe we can find our moonfishy, or yeah, maybe we can find our moonfishy around here somewhere. 
I wouldn't be at all surprised, really. Let's see, nothing yet. And we got a save point, just in case we need it, I guess. Oh, interesting. Nothing, okay. Maybe I just haven't gone to the right spot yet. Okay, let's see. So what is... Oh, I guess that's just the rest of the building. Never mind. I'm sitting here going, wait, what is this? And the answer is, uh, genius, you've already been here. No worries. Interesting. I'm a little surprised I haven't heard that familiar ding of moonfish finding yet. I don't know. I'm sure we will at some point. We just haven't yet. Okay, so with this, I guess what I really need to do is see about sneaking through the weapon shop here. Hey, this door isn't meant for customers. Uh, okay. I guess I can't go through there. Darn it. Well, all right then. Fine. I'll come around to the other side. Fortunately, the bucket is still right there. Okay, so... I guess I have to go around here and go back to where I had previously docked, I suppose? Well, I can go under here, actually, so I wonder if that's going to lead to anything. Oh my gosh, we're going to go down the waterfall. No! Don't bust my boat! Wow, I have a very resilient boat, apparently, because it's still here. Also, hi, duckies! Hey! Oh, let's look at you a little bit. Hi! How y'all doing? Oh, isn't that nice? Too bad they're trying to swim upstream against a waterfall. Let's see. Uh, uh, hmm. I guess I can't really... I can't really dock anywhere here, can I? Can I? I hope I did, just, didn't just get myself stuck. <laughs> that Wouldn't that be something? Okay, now it looks like I can dock here, so... I think. Uh, I can't dock here, right? No, I can't dock here. Interesting. I can't dock there, either. Huh. Okay, this is interesting. Uh... Oh, I can dock there. Okay, just the other side. Alright, good. I was afraid there for a second. I'm going, wait a minute. I didn't just destroy or uh, end things here, did I? Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, I can go over here, though, which is an area that I had not been before. I don't think. Was this... Yeah, I think this is just a normal house. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi, cleaning lady. Princess Moegi. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, you can prattle on as much as you like. I'm good. Okay, let's see. Any... Oh, hi. How are you? My big sister spends all her time worrying about how our princess is doing. Well, I mean, that's her call, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, Alright, that's all we need out of there, I guess. And can we head over to... This place? Okay, um, hi there. Food, food! Aww. It won't let me give him any food. That's too bad. Also, where's the person who owned you? Okay, I guess I just, when I was running around earlier, I just maybe missed this spot? Oh, hi, you must be Builder Lady. Yeah, Kerala, hi! Oh, you must be the Westerners they're all talking about. I'm Kerala, I'm the best builder in the country! So what do you think of our town? I bet you don't see such fine structures in your country. Ah, uh, you're right about that. What a difference between seeing something and only hearing about it. You really got a fine looking town here. Haha, <laughs> do you really think so? Well, it sure warms my heart to hear you say that. Say, maybe I should go back west with, west with you and visit your country. I could probably show you Westerners a thing or two that would really amaze you. Uh, hey, what are you going to do about this place then? It's still under construction. Ha, huh, not to worry. This is my own house. It was getting pretty old, so I decided to remodel. Well then, it's decided. I'll go back with you to your country and build all sorts of things for you. Incidentally, I have a little sister named Urala. You might want to give her a holler, too. Okay, so, new crew member. Sweet! Well, I guess then we can go ahead and grab both the girls. Well, not in a bad way, obviously. Hmm. Let's see, okay. So, oh! 
Okay, I guess we go up in a... That's... that's... alright, if you insist. Huh. Oh, and we got ourselves another tub waiting for us. That's nice. Okay, so really, in a way, I needed to do this, actually, to be able to fully explore. So I'm glad I did. Okay, in that case, then, I'm going to go back and talk to the sister and see if she'll join us, too. Because if so, then we've got two new crew members. And I will obviously check them out when we finish up. Let's see. Hello! Uh, if, if you would, please. Thank you. Thank you! Hi! Oh, you were here the other... <laughs> you were here the other day. I was here about 20 minutes ago, hun. Hi, excuse me, but would you happen to be Kerala's little sister by any chance? Y yes I am, but why do you ask? I thought so. Actually, Kerala has decided to join the crew of our ship as a builder. We're wondering if you might be interested in joining our crew too. Me? But, but, unlike my sister, I'm not good for much of anything besides cooking. Cooking is a perfectly fine skill to have. How would you like to join our crew as a cook? Sh sure, okay. If my sister's joining too. But are you sure I qualify for the job? Of course you do. You can make us all kinds of tasty Yafatoman dishes. Uh, all right. Um, I'll really do my best. Thank you so much. Wow, that's nice. We picked up two crew members. Sweet. Okay, so let me take a look at them real quick before we head out, I guess. All right, so we've got Kerala the Builder. Using the crew command, she will replenish your ships. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. Speaking of which, I need to fix my ship. Uh, let's see. And then we've got two cooks. So we've got Polly and Urala. Polly restores one character's MP. Urala will max out your spirit points. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes, you be active cook, please. Polly, you can have some makeup time with Robinson. By all means, I have no problems with this whatsoever. You go and do what you need to go and do because you've been missing him for years and years and years and years and years. Oh my goodness. Two very good crew members. Holy crap. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we're going to go explore here because I thought it was a ship, ship park's place and turns out I was an idiot and wrong. So we're going to go to this place last and then I think next time we are going to head over to the ship park store and get ourselves all ready to go to the mountain. But first, obviously, I want to leave no stone unturned as far as shops and such go. Well, at least until we get to the ship park store, then we're leaving that. Hello! I don't know why I thought this was the ship park store earlier. That's a little strange. Hi! Alright, uh, what you got to say? Great wall that surrounds this island was built by our ancestors. Okay. What really protects us is the blue winds. Okay. Uh, sure. What you got items wise? You have, well, the usual crystals, magic dew. Let's see. You have, oh, you actually sell Rissalem crystals. This is, yes, I want to invest in this. Thank you. Uh, let's bring you up to 20. I think that brings me up to 20. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is that it? Okay, that's it. All right, that's fine. Let's see. Um,. Actually, you know what? No, let's do more. Let's do another 10. And I want to keep some of the money that I have for ship part stuff because, you know, and I also need to sell off camera too. Because I want to have money just in case I need to buy some ship parts or have some stuff that I want to pick up. And let's see, last, can I, how do I get around to that treasure chest, I wonder? Uh, I, oh, I guess I go out the packed door. That's how you get to the treasure chest, genius. All right, so last but not least, we get money, which I guess I is good. I could have used that a bit ago, but all right. Okay, anyway, so let me go ahead and sneak out the door here. And next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends, we are going to make our way to the ship part store now that we have pretty thoroughly explored this place and see if we can make our way to the mountain to hopefully try to find the blue moonstone. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.